If you watched my last video where I reviewed Ark on Switch, you'll know that I'm sick. I'm really <laughs> not feeling too well. And uh, I thought that Ark was making me sick. But now, as I progressively get worse throughout the week, I'm starting to think maybe it's not Ark, and maybe it's something else. Maybe it's this monstrosity! The plague of the internet! I feel like it's plaguing me! <laughs> <laughs> the worst attempt at a cash grab I've seen Sony ever try and attempt. The quality is so poor, effort was not made. This thing was announced, feels like weeks ago. I guess when they had the idea to make it, they announced it and then they rushed it into production and they threw it on the shelves so that we would go out <laughs> and buy it. <laughs> <laughs> it's fine, I'm returning it. To start with, we need to see what it is that Sony so graciously gave us for a hundred dollars. We got two controllers. I don't- <laughs> this is my first issue. Why are they the original model of the PlayStation 1 controller? The one that even they knew was bad because promptly on PlayStation 1 they upgraded it and gave us analog sticks. I know we're going for a retro theme, but you went too far. No one wants to play games with these anymore. So I'm gonna actually show you how bad this thing is. I'm gonna have to turn it on. So I have the power cord, which is a USB thing, and now I just need the little power brick to, um... The little power brick to, uh, <coughs> to plug it. Where is it? Where is the frickin', the little, the, the actual part that I need to plug it into the wall? Where, did I lose it? USB AC adapter not included? They didn't include to, I'm supposed to provide my own power? A hundred dollars for the system. You cut corners on the controllers. And for some reason gave me two, like any of my friends are gonna want to play this crap with me. But you couldn't afford to put in a 50 cent import from China power brick. Really, Sony? Really? Alright, fine. I guess I'll find a quality product in my house and borrow the power from that for the time being. <coughs> oh, look. Just so happens I have a quality plug and play right here. Remember when everyone said Sony was copying Nintendo? Now nah, they weren't. Because I didn't make anything even remotely the same. This thing's actually fun. This, Sony, this is what I wanted. Now we can actually play this thing. Yay. I think it's funny that even Sony was trying to put up a roadblock themselves to prevent you from playing it. Maybe they were hoping no one would be bothered to find one of these in their house. <coughs> so immediately as you boot this thing up, you get treated to the most basic and awful looking menu screen. It literally just has like uh, square icons saying the game and you can flip around it with a basic, boring, blue background. No effort was even put into the game selection screen. There's no filters in it either. You can't change the way anything looks. It just is what it is. These really old PlayStation games being emulated terribly and, and looking, I, I swear, worse 
than how they once looked. I mean, you were never going to be able to make these PlayStation games look amazing, but you could have at least tidied them up a little bit. <sighs> Not to mention, while we are missing Crash Bandicoot, we do have the glorious Tom Clancy's Rainbow Six, which, oh, <coughs> everyone just couldn't wait to play Tom Clancy Rainbow Six again. You know how hard it is to play that game with this, with no analog sticks? The game has already aged like milk, coupled with the fact that now you're trying to play it like with this thing. No, Sony, that doesn't work, so right off the bat, one of your games are a write-off. Also, and this information came out long before I went and bought this thing, so it's really my own fault. They're all being emulated, by the way. They're all running on an open source emulator, and half of them are the PAL versions. Now, I don't want to get into no techno mumbo jumbo, because I'm an idiot and I don't know how it works either, but PAL games run at 50 hertz, or at least they did back in the day of SDTVs, and American games, NTSC games, they run at 60 hertz. What that means is a lot of these games, these PAL games, they ran like 15% slower back in the day. Us Australians, we got used to it. It sucked, but it is what it is. But when you have the opportunity to bring everything up to 2018 60 hertz standards, I'm not sure if that is the standard. And they went with the PAL versions. Look at Tekken 3, for example. You see how slow it's running in comparison to the, to the American? Conversion. It makes it really hard to play and every time you press a button your character doesn't do an attack for half a second I don't understand why th there seems to me that there was no reason for this <coughs> I don't want to do this I don't want to play it anymore because I feel like it's making me sicker But for you guys so you know to stay away from this thing and not to buy it I'm gonna play it one more time for this video <coughs> the second game I tried to play <coughs> was GDA. I actually have fond memories of GDA from when I was a kid. It was probably my favorite PlayStation 1 game. So I, honestly, I was never excited by this lineup. I think I played maybe three of the games. I was looking forward to Raymond. I never actually got a chance to play through Wild Arms. But other than that, 20 incredible games that defined an era. To find an error. I'm sorry. Intelligence Cube and Jumping Flash are decent games and I know they have a cult following, but oh, <laughs> they did not define an error. No one has ever uttered the phrase, thank goodness for Mr. Driller. They didn't define an error. They filled out a game library once upon a time and now they're filling out this piece of crap. Where are the games? Where's the Crash Bandicoot? Where's the Spyro? Again, I'm sure some of it was licensing issues, but I, there's, there's stellar PlayStation 1 games missing. I load up GDA. Immediately, I can tell it's the PAL version. I knew half of these games were PAL. I didn't know which half, but as soon as I pressed up on the D-pad and the character thought about it for a couple moments before finally moving up, I realized that, yeah. <laughs> This is the PAL version for GDA. I'm trying to drive down a street. It's just so wonky. It's like driving a shopping cart in the grocery store, but with a broken wheel. It's not going the way you want it to. And no matter how much you try and correct it, you always end up overcorrecting it because you hold it down thinking it's only for a couple seconds. But by the time the game even registers the fact you've let go, it's already turned around and it's sending you down the wrong street. <coughs> It does fizz up. It fizzes up a lot. <laughs> Let's try Abe's Odyssey. That was a good game. At this point, I can't tell if this is the PAL version. I honestly don't know anymore. If, if it's the other, if it's the wrong version of the game, or if just every game on this console runs this bad. I've tried them all. I went through and I tried to find one game that didn't feel like it was playing on some delay. Like I was streaming the game online and it was taking a while to send the input to the server back to me. But every game, it's like, it's a mess! Sony, you didn't try. This thing is 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 sicker than I am. The fact that you can charge a hundred dollars for this is sick. Sony, you're sick. Are you ready to play? No. <coughs> <sighs> so to summarize, it's not great. <laughs> 
Yeah, the games are poorly emulated. They all run really bad. It's not fun to play. If you want to buy a little cutesy piece of hardware to put on your shelf, gotta be honest, it looks really cool. The, even the buttons, they feel old school. Like, pressing this, I honestly expected the flap of the PlayStation to open, and I really wished it would. These controllers, it's just such nostalgia, and they are really cool, and for what they are, they feel quality. But everything past that isn't worth your money. This shouldn't have been $100. It's not worth it. You won't have that much fun. They don't play well. They play sluggish, and for your money, for a hundred Benjamins, you should really expect better. I expected better. To detox from all of this, I'm gonna have to hide in my game room for a while and play Red Dead Online. Try and flush it out of my system by playing something really fun. Because Red Dead Redemption Online won't be bad. R right? If you like this video or you learned a little something, make sure you have... Flip! All over that subscribe button. Click or tap on this video right here because it was probably better than... <coughs>